All right, welcome back to Garbage Pail Kids Bookworm Sticker Cards. And this uh, this is like the little mega box thing. Dude, I, I, I gotta tell y'all, I love Garbage Pail Kids cards. Since I opened up that uh, that one box I did, like I have uh, enjoyed opening these things. <laughs> okay, let's put that to the side. I would really need to invest in getting a knife to open this shit up. <laughs> Instead of having to fucking rip it and bite it like this. But, hang on. Shit, these things are hard as shit to bite. Hang on, Jesus Christ, let me just... I wish there was an easier way to bite these things instead of me having to cut them. There's my cat. Look at her little toesies. Okay, there we go. Well, maybe. But yeah, this is my cat. <laughs> How the hell? How are you supposed to open this? Come on. Did I get it? Nope. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I swear to God. If I had a knife in here, I'd just fucking cut it, but I don't. Okay, there we go. Shit. Okay, come on, kitty. Up you go. Come on, come on. I need, I need this. I need the table space for the cards. So hop up you go. Okay. Uh, we ripped it right here. We got the little side open. But yeah, opening it right here or taking off the wrapper anyway. So yeah, I know this is not been open, cat. Come on, bro. You literally go lay down somewhere. <laughs> Please, but uh, yeah, this uh, from what the box said on the side, um, yeah, 17 packs, eight sticker cards per pack, or eight stickers per pack, 136 total sticker cards per box, and then yeah, look for new art and exclusive gross adaptation cards. So yeah, we we got a lot to open. Ooh, that feels, this box feels nice, honestly. I ain't gonna lie to you. So let's see here. So it opens up like that. Oh, it opens up like that. Okay. I like that. I like that. I, I like that. Okay. That, that ain't too bad. I actually kind of like how that opens up. It's very, very nice. And then yeah, here are the cards. It has like the bookworms logo. So we'll throw these right up in the corner so y'all can see them. And then we're going to turn that sideways. And I got, if y'all remember, I like to save at least one pack. So I'm going to try my best to open this without ripping it. Um, I can get a damn grip on it. Come on. Fuck it. Damn. <laughs> I really have got to invest in some damn scissors. I ain't going to lie to you. Like scissors would help me open this shit. Okay, that fuck it, that works. I saved the front. That's all I care about. Yep, that'll be the pack we throw back in the box. But oh, I like it, bro. Look at that. We have hexing Hermione. <laughs> that, that that's fucking cool. It's like a little Harry Potter, and then we got the little background here. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I don't think these really have. Yeah, these just have like random pictures. But uh, we have Wingy Winthrop. Oh, I kind of like that one though. Actually, that, yeah, that's cool. Shit, I like that one. Oh, check that one out. We have Mucus Martin. I like, I love the art on these cards. I am gonna lie to y'all. Ooh, I think. Oh, my cat has got to move, bro. <laughs> but I think we might have got a decent one because we got like a. I don't know too much about these cards, but we got like a little green border, and the other three were white, so, but this is 2B. Oh, we have James, or, yeah, that's Pinched Preston. I said the number like an idiot. But I like that one, we got like a little James Bond, he has a hole in his chest, but this is James Gone. This is card number eight, okay. Then we have Slammin' Sammy, 95B. We have... Taryn Terry, and then we have Leisure Lee. Okay, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Got some pretty decent ones. I, 
I like that the first one we pulled out was a fucking Harry Potter one. <laughs> you know, it was Hermione. <laughs> I thought that was funny as hell. I didn't even lie to you. But yeah, we'll, we'll hold it like this with the back. Then we'll flip it over so we can see what the hell is first. All right, we have Marcus of Zorro. Little, what's that damn movie called? The Sword of Zorro or whatever. We have Ambushed Art. Ooh, he got stabbed right in the butt. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'd hate that, man. If I'm taking a shit and a guy just stabs me in my shit, dude, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> oh, we got the Berenstain Bears. Okay, okay. Yeah, y'all comment down below. Uh, do y'all remember it as Berenstain or Berenstein? With an E or an A? Y'all let me know. But yeah, we got another green outline. And I think, I think these are the little, um... Let me, let me look at the box. Is that the is that the is that the uh, the the gross adaptations? Use books for so I mean I'm assuming it might be just because the the green outline right. I mean hell maybe I'm wrong but yeah we got a uh, bookseller Shelley. We have Stock and Stella. We have gruesome gray. Hot stuff hobbies. Oh I like that this one doesn't have a border. I actually like that one. It looks nice. But, I mean, it does have a border technically, like the white background, like these. But it uh, it looks a little bit better. So, wait, hang on, hang on. Let's, uh... After I, after I throw these two to the side, I'm going to pull out all the green ones. But uh, we have Hot Stuff Hobbs. And we have Dashiell Droppings. Okay, okay. So, let's get all the green ones. Just so we can keep looking at those. Alright, perfect, perfect. Because at the end of it, I'm going to pull out like a handful of the favorites that I like so far. Gross adaptations. So was that a... A, no, I think that's just like a random number. I think that one might actually... Or no, gross adaptations. Let's see here. Look through the backs. See if we see another one of those that say gross adaptations. So far, none. Uh, nope, but honestly, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, the little James Gunn is actually one of my favorite cards. Just, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it like that. <laughs> we got like my favorites so far, we got these, and then we have those. So far though, I do like all the cards, it's just that James Gunn one is actually one of my favorite ones. I just like how he looks. <laughs> Come on, bro. I really have got to invest in some damn scissors. Holy shit. It's... Okay, there we go. Jesus. Okay. All right. Perfect. And so far, we've already opened, a, uh, opened up, what, three packs? Four? No. Either, yeah, either three or four. But we have Magic Merlin. Flattened Frank. I like how the hands block out the logo. I like that. <laughs> We have Garbage Pell Kids, or I read the I read the logo. <laughs> we have Shady Sean. <laughs> we okay. We have another green one. So yeah, these are definitely the gross ones, right? I mean, they got to be the gross ones. We have Almanac though. So let's put these on the green. We have Juiced James, Page Turner. Oh, I kind of like that one actually. But you know what? It's okay. We'll throw all the we'll throw all of the cards into here. Into this stack, and then we have this stack. This will be like the the green border stack, and then this is just like the basic stack. But uh, we have stack Stella. Oh, so we got a second one of that one then, because we had the one with the monkey at first. Now we have sweet tart, yeah, sweet treat Sayer, which is like a little uh, Tom Sayer Sawyer kind of thing, which I like. Okay, so. So far, though, I'm actually enjoying opening these. I'm glad I got the box, honestly. Because <laughs> I saw it when I was out, and I was like, you know what? I'll buy it. Why not? And I've opened up Garbage Pill Kids cards before, but the first box I opened up was the Chrome box or whatever it was. And I don't know if I actually got anything good in that box, but so far, I like these. I've actually gotten a variety of these, and I like these. But we have uh, Stuck Scotty. Lionel the Witch in the Wardrobe. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. We have Watching Hugh. Okay, okay. So, yeah, this stack's already kind of big. It's only going to keep getting bigger. So, let's throw this stack here. Oh, we have Winnie the Pooper. 
No fucking way. Then we have Audio Phil. Okay, okay. Ain't really nothing special with his card, but I like it though. Mixed in Mitch. How to make friends and influence people. How to make mortal enemies. Jesus. Kitty, come on, bro. Would you please stay down? But uh, we have Goosebump Ben. And we have Frisky Freda. Okay, okay. Nice. Not bad at all. Oh, I love the I love the sound of cards stacking together. <laughs> okay, so does it tell me anything about the pull rate? Or what kind of cards for a chance to attain cards listed as above? Oh wait, 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 wait. They actually got a uh... Okay, so approximate odds per pack or yeah, per pack of finding S base parallels uh, Moby Dick Gray. So Moby Dick Gray one's a rare one. Fool's go. Fool's gold scratch and sniff. Printing plate artist autograph and then gross adaptation. Insert one of the two exclusive one six or something. Kitty, come on, boy, you got to get down, please. <laughs> but um, okay. So that James Bond one, I think. Yeah, because it said gross adaptation, right? Yeah, it said, it, yeah, it definitely said gross adaptation, I'm pretty sure. Was this one a gross adaptation? No. Um, yeah, that James Bond was definitely a gross adaptation. I just don't know where the hell it's at. There we go. Yeah, see, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. See, this was a gross adaptation, so I was right when I put that one to the side. Okay, okay, bet. So now we have the stack, and then we have the green ones here. Then we have the gross adaptations, in case we find some more gross adaptations. Because I feel like we'll find something, you know. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, yeah, 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 we're looking for like a Moby Dick or something. So, yeah, uh, I'm guessing we'll start to find them. Is that Moby Dick? No, that's Dive Don. Okay, I'm about to say Jay's. I just said his name. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, we already have page holder, but I think it's on the uh, the green. Big Bucks Biff. Yeah, see, we, uh, yeah, because yeah, there, there's Almanac right there. Oh, let's see here. We have Naughty Noah. Oh, Necromonic Ron. Detect, did I shit, detect, Detective Dave. I don't know how to say detective. Then we have Button Betty. Okay, that's not a... And then we have Worried Wilbur. Okay, okay, bet. Yeah, so far, I like these. These are cool. Shit, I like these cards. Like, so far, this has, like, been from, what, a bunch of uh, movies and books and shit, right? I mean, so far, that's what it seems like. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense because the damn thing is literally called, uh, you know, bookworms, but, uh... <laughs> We have Elephant. Oh, we have Adam Book. Okay, okay. That's actually pretty cool. He's on the... I think he was on the box that I... The first box I had, that Chrome box. Is there anything on the back? Uh, we have Thing One. We have Crammed Chris. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely some books then. And like uh, adaptations of like movies like uh, Jumanji right here. Lumanji. Okay, okay. Rick. Wrecked Warren, which I think is uh that little Easter Island bunny. Oh, we have uh Cat in a Hat, Zitty Kitty. Okay, Still Jill. Okay, nice, nice. Wait, is that for the recently deceased? That's that uh that's the little thing on Harry Potter, the little uh the little Jamaican skull thing on the bus. Shrunken Sh head, I think is what it's called. I was about to call it a sulking head, but I don't know what the fuck a sulking head is, so I'm gonna not call it that. But we have, oh, we have Saul, uh, Shaw Sink, uh, Saul, shit, Shaw Shank Redemption. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, Pierce Percy, Percy Jackson. Okay, okay, that's cool as shit. I like that. Yeah, and look at the uh, look at Annabeth and uh, Grover in the background. <laughs> Dear Mom, camp is great. You got a sword right in the damn eyeball. And yeah, yeah, uh, y'all probably don't know this, but I love reading books. And so far, this has just been so cool to see the different fucking books. <laughs> but we have Audio Brooklyn. 
and then we have Mind Blown Salon, so that's the second one to that. Uh, we have Misguided Guy. Then we have Vela de la France. We have Book Burn, Bur Book Bernie with the Fahrenheit 451 book. Hungry Katniss, which is the Hunger Games. Oh, what is that? Here's what part A of your completed Tom Bunk book fair puzzle will look like. Oh, that's cool. So that's all the back of it, right? Yeah, so that would be all the, the A's. Okay, so far. So far I haven't come across another one that had, uh, because this one doesn't have a letter to it, um, but the rest of these have letters. So once again, I don't actually know if that's anything important or not. I mean, because I know they have uh, variations of the cards, but like, I thought it started with like A. Like I thought the card started with A. So it'd be like A1, A2. But I guess I was wrong. Because, yeah, here's 19A. But we have Wormy Waller. War, or fuck it. Wormy Walker. Frostbite Buck. Mopic Maya. We have Mad Max. Hey, the where the wild things are. We have uh, BF Gyno. Oh, giant. He stepped on that damn little thing. We have Bewitched Whitney. We have Heidi... Hoodie Heidi, which is Little Red Riding Hood. Then we have Romantic Ryan. Okay, okay. I mean, so far we've gotten some pretty cool ass cards. I'm gonna lie too. Hell, yeah, well, I like these cards so far. And it looks like we got a handful of more packs, which is not too bad. Ah, oh, yeah. See, now we have bookseller bookseller Shelley, but it's not uh, the green version, so that's not bad. We have Audio Phil, and it's not the green version. We have Cram Chris again. That's the first duplicate, I'm pretty sure. Then we have Thing Sue. Okay, so but that's a green one. We have Invincible Fence, <laughs> which is uh, Invincible, that little show. Oh, we got the guy on the damn the, the box. Uh, Chiseled Chip. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Wait, was that a gross adaptation? Yes, that was a gross adaptation. Okay. So, the ones that aren't books, I think... We have Light, Light Speed Livingston. Okay, okay. I threw that way to the side. I don't know why the hell I did that. Then we have Striped Stephanie. That's a that's a little parody of that damn uh, that little book. What was that book? Uh, she she turned different colors and shit because like lima beans or some shit, or she didn't want to eat them or something. I I, hell, I can't remember. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't remember. But hell, speaking of books, I have some uh. I came across some Lego Star Wars books that uh, tell you about the like when the characters came out and shit. But like it's like all the different uh, Star Wars characters. Like you have like a book on the bounty hunters, a book on the Empire, then the Jedi's and shit like that. So um, I'm definitely gonna uh, show those off just because I I thought they were fucking cool as hell, dude. Like it tells you, like it shows you when the characters have come out and then like it, it gives you little descriptions and shit about them. But let's see here. We have Mad Max again, but I think this one is not the thing. We have Holding a Grudge. Uh, let's see here. Unraveled Anne. Oh, we got uh, Holding a Grudge Green. So yeah, okay, yeah, they definitely. Yeah, cause yeah, that yeah, that's the same card, but it has a green border. So yeah, the the green borders are the better one then, right? Yeah, cause forty six A. 46A, but uh, we got Warmy Willis. He's also on the book or, or on the box. We have Freaky Friends. We have Nat Rat, and then we have Sci-Fi or yeah, Sci-Fi. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm really enjoying opening these, and I hope you uh, so far y'all been enjoying this as well. But we have a uh, book Edna. Oh, Red, uh, yeah, Red Robin Hood, but, uh, we have Red-Eyed Robin. We have Dueling Dardigan. Okay, okay. Oh, Andy Duframed. Oh, it's a different one. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, we got, um, Jawbreaker Johnny from Chocolate and Charlie Factory. Oh, that's a gross adaptation. Perfect. Okay, I like it. Um, we have Don Panic. Uh, we have Egg, yeah, Eggy Egger. Isn't that the guy from uh, Green Eggs and Ham? But then we have Diary Dan. <laughs> Diary Danny. My bad. But we have five packs. Or we have six packs left. Okay. Perfect, perfect. And then we're going to kind of go through some of these and look at them again. 
Like, look at, like, pick out, like, a handful that just look fucking sick as hell. There we go. And hell, we got a pack saved, so not too bad. Uh, let's see here. I love, I love how vibrant these cards are, though. We have Researching Ralph. Books, your yeah, storybook Bastion, the never ending story. We have Snot Jam Ann, Unraveled Ann, Annie. Uh, we have Aqua Dan, which is a parody of Aquaman, and that's a gross adaptation. Perfect. Uh, we have Jammed Up Johnny. Oh, Lord of the Rings, Mike Precious. I like that. Okay. Then we have uh, Freaky Frizzle, which is Miss Frizzle. So this is Checklist B. And hell, we've gotten a good bit of these. I ain't gonna lie to you. So there's a checklist for B. There's a checklist for A, I'm pretty sure. And there might be a little checklist for that, right? Hell, because I have two boxes of these. I have this box, which is this video, since this video is already like 20 minutes long. <laughs> and then I got a, um, a second box I plan on opening eventually as well. I'll probably open Pokemon cards before I do another one of these. But we have Reading Rainbow. We have Well Read Rita. Whoa, I did not mean to skip that. We have Warmy Wild 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 or something. We got a Green Border Jad Jackson. We have Choked Up Cho Chewy Chuhi. Awful 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 Arthur. Oh, that was a gross adaptation. Shit. Okay. I didn't even recognize that one, but uh, we have Putin Porter. Then we have uh, Howard Havoc. Okay, so far though, we have gotten a fucking stack right here. So now I wonder if I've missed other gross adaptations just because I haven't uh, looked at the back of the card yet. And if if I if I have missed them, then that's my fault. Cause I'm dumb. But uh, we have Treasure Travis. We have Ides of Mark, which is Julius Caesar when he got gutted up. We have Retching Romeo, which is not a thing. Okay. We have Book Edna, which... Oh, is that Negan? Mean Dean. Yeah, that's Negan, though. Yeah, is that... Yeah, that's Negan. There's Lucille. That's cool as shit. All right. That's an adaptation. Knock, knock, Nick. We have Beth Death. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shit, that one was a green... I didn't even recognize the idea was a green card. <laughs> shit. Uh, we have Purple pay Prior. Purple Prior. Okay, nice, nice. Not bad, not bad at all. So now we have exactly three left. So that means we have 24 cards. Come on, cat, bro, stop. Damn. Now nothing, bro, chill. Stop. But, um, let's see here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got a checklist card. Oh, we got checklist A. Okay. Bet. But uh, let's flip this shit over. Oh, it's Gandalf the Grave, and uh, there's Gandalf, and there's uh, Bilbo. I like that. I like that. Kitty, would you please stop? But uh, let's see here. We got Ronnie Nose, Giving Tree, which is not an adaptation. Cat, come on, bro. Stop. We have Listening Lisa. We have Mal Maldorius Mary. Is that an adaptation? Yep, that's an adaptation. Okay. We have Craziness George. Oh, that's what one of the puzzles look like. Okay. We have Draft Drew. Then we have Good Nina. Good Nia. So here's all the uh, A's. All right. We, uh, I think we've all, I think with a second box, we will complete this entire set almost. Maybe. I'd have to put these in a binder and actually look and make sure I, I completed the set. <laughs> Because honestly, as cool as these cards are, I might actually have to do that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, uh, put them in a binder in order and shit, and then, uh, complete the sets. Just because I like how these cards look. Let's see here. We have Splatty Patty, Stat Jack, Peppy Pippy, which is, we already have the other one of that. Red Eye Robin. Oh, Almanac Allen. Allen, which is a gross adaptation. Okay. As You Wish. Radical Rapunzel, and then Wyatt Well. Is that Moby Dick? No, that's Abraham Lincoln. That's not Moby Dick. I'm stupid. <laughs> but let's see here. All right, this is the very last pack. Let's see what we get. 
Come on. Come on. Alright, perfect, perfect. We got the Kang Dorian. Crispy Calvin, which we got the other card of that. We have Sam Sprayed, which we got the other card of that. Dune Bonnie, which we got the other card of that. Untrained Tyler, How to Train Your Dragon. I like it. That's a gross adaptation. Perfect. Funny Sunny. Skewered Stewart. And then Caterpillar Eaton. That's the very last one. Okay, perfect, perfect. So let's see here. Let's just kind of go through some of these again. Let's make sure we didn't miss any gross adaptations, right? I mean, I feel like I might have. Oh, I did. See, yeah, look at that shit. I did miss some of these gross adaptations. Jumanji. I didn't even look at the back of that one. I even said that was Jumanji, didn't I? Fuck, I'm stupid. All these movies that I knew what it was. I knew, I knew, I knew these were movies. Hell, I was even calling them out as I said them. So yeah, okay, most of the, a good little couple of these are, uh, what the hell is that? Is that the, uh, super, oh shit, that's the movies, oh shit, that's the movies, okay, we, we have got to, we, okay, so yeah, 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 so this is gross adaptations, so we got, uh, books, which is most of the basic cards are books, and then we got uh, the ones that are um, the gross adaptations, which are movies and things like that. Okay, I think I figured that out. Is that one a movie? No. Oh, let's see here. I can't wait to see what all these... Uh, is that a... No, that's just a checklist. But is that a gross adaptation? No, that's just a checklist thing. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure we didn't miss any. Okay, near the top, I know we didn't miss any. So let's just search the bottom of this deck one more time. Make sure we didn't miss anything good. Because, hell, I could have swore there was another movie. Cat, come on, bro. But uh, I could have swore there was another movie near the beginning that I called it. That I said it was a movie, but my dumb ass didn't throw it to the side because I'm stupid. <laughs> Yeah, Gross Adaptations, which was that? Juiced Jams, okay. Can't remember what movie that is, but, uh... I didn't know that would have been a Gross Adaptation. Would that have been a Gross Adaptation? No. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think that might have been the last... One, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. But let's see here now. So we got a handful of the gross adaptations. We got some of these green ones as well, which honestly, I like these green ones. Kitty, please stop, bro. But uh, let's see here. We got the green ones. So I think I'll do it like this. We'll, we'll just kind of split this one in half and we'll look at some of the cooler looking ones. See, I like, I like the little Percy Jackson ones. I ain't gonna lie to you. And the Shawshank Redemption, I think it's just fucking hilarious. And I like that one as well. The Adam book. Then we have the little Cheshire cat from Alice in the Wonderland. Stuck Scotty. I like the little Merlin one too. <laughs> and then, yeah. So far though, I liked how these cards look. These cards look absolutely amazing. And then we got... Funny Sunny, as you wish. Draft Drew. You know, just a handful of them. Wretching Romeo, which was not a gross adaptation. I like the Arthur one, honestly. He's just eating ants. Because <laughs> I think he had. Arthur's an anteater, isn't he? I think that's what they are, is anteaters. Then we have Diary of Wimpy Kid. Not bad. Then we have Chisel Chip, which I thought was actually pretty cool. But, let's see here. Yeah. Now let's check out the green ones. Let me throw this shit in the box though without fucking them up. Cause I don't want to fuck up the cards. In the slightest. Okay, perfect, perfect. 
Perfect. So now let's look at the green ones since we already seen most of them. I kind of like the red Robin Hood, I ain't gonna lie to you. And then uh, the Jad Jackson, I think it's just actually pretty good. Then we had the Scott, the Shawshank Redemption one, which I thought was actually nice. And then I like the Thing 1, like the Thing Sue. Thing 1 and 2 equals 3, and I like that. And then we had the Mind Blown Salon. Yeah, I like, I like how these cards look. I ain't gonna lie to you. Then we had the first one we got, which was the little Sally girl. Bookseller Sally. So let's see here. Put these in the box, too. So now we have the gross adaptations. So let's see here. This, if I'm correct, is movies, right? So let's get that uh, that guy we saw. Where was he? Where was he? Where was he? The gladiator guy. Or the, the, the what was his name? Fuck, I can't, I don't, I don't remember the movie he's from. But they got a checklist for this shit, which is, can y'all see that? Yep. We got the War of the Worlds, Earth to the Moon, Thousand Nights, Time Machine, Gone with the Wind, The Odyssey, War and Peace, Alice in the Wonderland, Old Man of the Sea. So yeah, this tells you, I think I think that's that might be a random card, but uh, yeah, we had a couple of the gross adaptations. Which we got 14, yeah, see, that, yeah, that's just a regular card, because it's 32B, but we got 14, 12, 25A, 25 well, hell, the gross adaptations may just be a fucking, a card that just says it, but we have 9, I feel like these are, these are important, though, because we have, like, 9, 7, we have 24A, but we have 2, 10, 3, 23A, we have 13, 11, Six. I mean, I think the numbers might mean something. I'm just not sure what. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that has been opening up uh, garbage pill kids, and I think I think this is a nice little card to end it on because I honestly enjoy that card. I love how that card looks. But uh, yeah, I hope y'all have enjoyed. Uh, y'all comment down below what your favorite card that we pulled today was, and y'all be safe and y'all have fun, and I will catch y'all on the next one. See you then.